Can scientists use technology to make you experience God? The answer is sort of maybe, and maybe they don't actually need to use any technology at all to do it. Uh, confused? You won't be after today's very helpful video. Uh, about 15 years ago, a researcher named Michael Persinger came up with the God helmet, which is basically a motorcycle helmet that's fitted with electrodes meant to stimulate, stimulate different areas of your brain in order to trigger hallucinations, out-of-body experiences, or just certain emotional states like fear or relaxation. Uh, Persinger's hypothesis was that all spirituality and superstition, from belief in God to belief in alien abductions, are the result of misfirings in your brain. That's not a particularly controversial idea, since many scientists believe and have good evidence that supernatural experiences have natural explanations. And in fact, if a science scientist doesn't believe that, I'm a little suspicious of their science. Um, but yeah, if you're experiencing a supernatural experience, the brain is the first place we should look. What is controversial about Persinger is whether or not his god helmet even does anything at all. He seemed to think that he could make it so precise that it could be incorporated into like virtual reality to enhance people's experiences. But years later, no one has been able to truly replicate the results that he claims to have seen. On the contrary, several studies have shown that you can get suspiciously similar results using a god helmet that isn't actually doing anything. It just needs to look impressive, like take a bike helmet and attach a bunch of wires to it, tell the user some mumbo jumbo about the technology, and there's a good chance that they will then experience hallucinations like those that Persinger reported. That's the power of the placebo effect, which is a catch-all term uh, that describes errant data. Uh, but colloquially, it's come to mean the power of the brain to trick itself. If you think you're getting a pain reliever, you're likely to actually feel a reduction in pain, even if you're taking a sugar pill. Brains are weird. And so sure enough, scientists have learned that if you tell a person that a wacky helmet is going to cause them to have weird experiences, there's a good chance they're going to have those experiences. There are ways that we can tell the likelihood that you will have that experience. And researchers have identified uh, that it's actually your own self-reported sense of spirituality that's the main culprit. If you think of yourself as a more spiritual person who is open to religious ideas and experiences, you're more likely to be, well, kind of a little gullible. Sorry. Uh, I've been thinking about all of this because of a recent Dutch study that used a phony god helmet uh, on people at a music festival. They were testing to see if alcohol and drugs made people more susceptible to the phony helmet. And they found that, in fact, it did not. Uh, as with previous studies, regardless of inebriation, people who said that they were spiritual or religious were much more likely to believe that the helmet was giving them supernatural experiences. They were also less likely to believe that the helmet did anything if they were more educated. My favorite part of this study, though, is uh, the quotes from the people who believed the helmets did something, because they range quite drastically from, it felt as if I was floating, and a strong force was pulling my head back, over to, I went into a dialogue with a dark circle. It sounded like my own voice, yet also different. It was something higher. The voice told me that I was ready to get children, even though the circumstances were suboptimal. Deep down, I already knew this, and I became very emotional and started crying. But I was never afraid. I've never had such an experience. It was truly amazing. Oh my god, I feel terrible for that person who, you know, might have been slightly embarrassed upon discovering that they got all of those feelings from a spray-painted skate helmet. But simultaneously, I envy them because they can have some super weird experiences just by putting on a spray-painted skate helmet. The study has limitations noted by the authors, particularly they were at a music festival and they had to deal with pounding bass lines. And uh, also they had a limited amount of time to spend with each subject. Uh, otherwise, though, the data is pretty clear. A drunk skeptic is still a skeptic and a sober believer is still a believer. <laughs>